Just be yourself and they will love you. How many times have you heard that? Um, <laughs> I have heard it lots of times and I'm sure everybody has. Uh, as a younger person hearing that, I didn't even really know what that meant because just be yourself. Who's myself? I didn't really know. Um, you, you could choose the person that your parents expected you to be. You could choose the person that your teachers or people in authority expected you to be. And I didn't really know who myself was. And even hearing, you know, different stories of people, you know, they left home, they left to find themselves. That never even really made sense to me. I'm like, well, who are they finding? If they don't know who they are, how are they going to find them in a different location? <laughs> it just didn't make a lot of sense to me ever. And we have different selves, it seems like, for different situations and for different people that we're around. And being yourself isn't always safe, you know, or I always, it didn't feel like it was always safe. And there's times that feel safer to be yourself. Um, for me, you know, definitely at home and now more and more all the time. And even in reading into, you know, months ago when I really started researching this INFJ thing, you know, even reading type descriptions, watching other people talk about their experience with being this, it, it gives you a description and then you think, oh, is that how I'm supposed to be? Is that who I am? Or is that again, a caricature of what someone else thinks I should be? And who am I really? And I think for myself, when I'm alone, doing something that I enjoy, like in my garden, you know, if I'm pulling weeds or planting seeds or just looking at the flowers or walking around, then I am really, truly myself. And that sounds like such a strange thing, but at that time, without interruption and allowing my mind to, you know, flow through the things that it does and having my thoughts, and that is the most comfortable place. Because you can say, okay, I'm going to go to this gathering and I'm going to be myself. But a lot of times what you end up being is a reflection of the other people around you with your own, you know, self filter. And is it really safe to be yourself? Is the outside world and even your close circle of friends going to be fully accepting of who, who you actually are? You know, that certain things make you sad and you are going to have this painfully honest response to a serious question and is that something that people are prepared to accept and you know my husband always says to me and he is ESFP like I've mentioned before he always says to me well who cares if they don't like you what's the worst thing so what if you say something they don't like it who cares except the part that he's lacking is that ability to feel how they feel to know or to feel how they feel when you say something that they don't like and I have been trying and I think it might be helpful to focus more on what is on the inside rather than looking at what uh, rather than responding to what's on the outside and I always say I can only change my own behavior I can only change my own reaction I have no control over someone else's reaction to me But it's still difficult when you can feel 
what the other people are reacting to. So being myself, and I am more and more myself lately, the more that I talk about myself, I guess, and explore that and realize that it is safe in most situations. And um, yeah, I safety is kind of a huge thing for me. And I think for a lot of us to feel safe, to feel protected, to feel like the people around us are loyal, that they will love us, <laughs> even in our oddity, I guess. And be yourself for everyone is going to look different because even though we are all very similar, we're all very different. We come from different places and different experiences and some of us are stronger, more mature um, than others. I always feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm not a very young, undeveloped person, but I'm not, I haven't arrived. I don't know that I'll ever arrive, but I haven't arrived. And I really hope to continue to be myself, whether or not that is seen as favorable to other people. I I really want to be in a place where I don't have to put on a caricature of someone else that I can just be accepted even by myself, you know, accept myself for who I am. That That is kind of the bigger battle than having other people accept me for who I am. It's just to know that I accept myself, that I'm okay the way I am. That it's okay that I like things that other people maybe wouldn't necessarily like. That they wouldn't even look at twice. You know, some, some little thing that I consider beautiful that no one else would even look at. That it's okay. And that I can sense and see things that other people can't and won't accept and don't want to look at. that that's okay. And that we can, you know, be painfully honest in a situation that would possibly be hurtful to someone and that we can make sure that we're safe and that we feel safe and then we feel like the people around us are loyal. And I don't even always feel like doing these videos is safe. You know, when people talk to me or comment, I sometimes, sometimes, most of the time it's great. You know, I really love it. But there, there's times when even people that are close to me will say things about it and it doesn't feel safe. And I feel like, you know, all this vulnerability is not something that's maybe be good for me. But at the same time, the more that I've done it, the more and more of myself that I am and the more I'm okay with it. So how have you felt when people have said, just be yourself? Do you know who yourself is? Do you, are you able to relax enough to actually do that? Are there certain situations that that is okay and you can do it? You know, is it okay for you to love the things that you love and share them with other people? Or are you constantly putting on a show? I do have to put on a show at work almost. And they're, you know, it's this extroverted being a hairdresser and a barber. It's a very extroverted job. You know, you almost have to like hold court. You have to entertain the masses or well, not the masses, but entertain, you know, this one person and keep a conversation going and be likable and it's exhausting, but I love it because I do enjoy having that part of me that I can switch into this mode of being whatever I am at work. And it is exhausting and I'm very tired at the end of the day uh, physically because, you know, you stand on your feet all day and then emotionally because you have to put yourself into a role that is not um, necessarily natural. And I think we all have to do that. But I have just rambled for nine minutes. So um, be yourself guys and tell me what that means to you. Um, are you able to do it? Is it safe for you? Um, I 
feel like I'm doing it more and more. I am a lover of beautiful things and flowers and um, <laughs> old things, and that's okay. And I can be silly, and I love to laugh, uh, but a lot of times I feel um, melancholy and sad and processing, and that's okay. So have a great day, guys. Live and love out of the way you were created.